Hey guys, how's it going? DJ2 here and welcome back to another Q&A and giveaway video. In this one, guys, we are going to pull a winner for a 1000 Viva gift card and we are going to announce another one, another 1000 Viva gift card. And also I'm going to be talking about um, my streaming schedule. I'm going to be talking about my, I'm going to be talking about a lot of stuff, <laughs> which actually, you know what? We're going to start with that. We're going to start with that. Thank you for being here, guys. Thank you for watching. Sorry for hitting the mic there. Uh, thank you to everyone who is a member of the channel. Thank you to everyone who uses my creator code. If you use my creator code, DUJ2, it'll pop up in a second when we go to the to the other window. Uh, if you use my creator code, DUJ2, over in the Epic Games Store, it helps me out so very much. It also helps uh, to get these gift cards. So thank you very much, guys. I really appreciate it. So let me do some very quick announcements before we start the video. I know normally, normally we do it the other way around, but in this case, I do want to really bring quickly bring it up. So a couple of things. Uh, first thing is keep an eye out after this video releases or around the same time it releases, I am going to be releasing my schedule, my streaming schedule for this week. Now, for a lot of you who don't know, uh, or a lot of you do know, <laughs> I have not been streaming much. I actually haven't been streaming a lot for quite a while now, but things wrapped up on Friday. Things are awesome. And we are going to get back to streaming. Uh, so keep an eye out for my streaming schedule this week and going into the future. Uh, it's going to be really cool. I don't have anything scheduled out of the ordinary uh, until April, the end of April, when I will be doing uh, some streams and possibly some videos from PAX East. And if you are interested in potentially going to PAX East, if you're near in the Boston area and or you can travel there and you would like to try and win a PAX East four day pass, uh, keep an eye out on the next video coming up probably tomorrow or maybe maybe even later today. I don't know. We'll see when it comes out uh, or definitely come to the streams. Definitely come to the streams because I will be talking about some passes that I, they gave me from PAX East to give away. It's four day passes, which is awesome. So if you'd like a chance to win one, come to the stream. Just keep an eye out. Keep an eye on Twitter as well. And uh, yeah, we're going to be doing something cool there. But also in effect that today is the last day of the month and a lot of you guys know what we do on the stream on the last day of the month we do a mini pigma stream now i haven't been able to do one the last couple of months so we're gonna do one with a vengeance today we're gonna we're we're gonna do a big one today i'm gonna start stream late and in going into the into march 1st and going into the update we're gonna stay up we're gonna play we're gonna play some other games uh during the update and uh, we're going to be doing that and I'm going to be giving away some stuff. I'm going to be giving away basically, well, I have a couple more gift cards to give away that I can give away. And basically also I'm going to be gifting. So for those of you who don't know, uh, I the reason why I save up all my all my uh, V-Bucks, I was going to say my coins. <laughs> the reason why I save up all my V-Bucks is because I do giveaways during the stream and you just have to come watch. Come watch and... Uh, we'll be do, gifting some stuff from the shop tonight. So uh, we'll do a few of those, maybe a few more. And we'll go from there. But that's it for the announcements, guys. Uh, so let's go ahead and do the giveaway today. So we have a thousand V-Bucks that we're going to give away. Uh, let's head over here. And let's go over here. So for those of you who don't know, every single giveaway, every single, well, yeah, every single giveaway video, every single Q&A video, I do a giveaway. And normally we do v bucks so today we have a 1000 v buck gift card and like i said we will start another one right after how you enter these is all you have to do is leave a comment down below that's it just leave a comment down below that's all it takes that's all you got to do and we're golden so uh we're gonna go over here we're gonna put in the video we're gonna filter duplicate users we're gonna get our youtube comments we've got 46 people who entered this time and the winner is Emmanuel. Emmanuel Vargas says scavengers looks cool. If you're looking for another game like save the world, I would recommend orcs must die three. It isn't free though. I have heard about orcs must die. Um, I'm wanting to try it. Maybe, uh, we'll see. We'll see. I've heard also that, um, there might be another one coming out or a different one, in the same kind of style. So yeah, we might have to try it out because yeah, a big part of games nowadays is free. Um, I actually have a video coming out soon, a bit of a let's talk. Uh, I'm going to be talking about a lot of different things. Um, a lot of opinion things that I have about different games and you know, the 
how the gaming culture is right now like that too uh so i have a lot of last talks that are going to be coming out soon um yeah one of them is about this the, the difference between free and you know free to play or microtransactions games or completely free games or games that you know charge money so we'll be talking about that soon but everyone know congratulations you have until the next q a video to get a hold of me send me a dm an email anything you want and i will go ahead and verify you and we will get you your gift card and we will start another one right away another giveaway if you would like to win this one all you have to do is leave a comment down below that's it just leave a comment down below and i will go ahead and uh, pull the winner in the next q a and the giveaway and we will go from there and we're moving on to the next part of the video which is the questions and answer now this week uh because we have those extra extra announcements that i talked about i'm going to do just a few questions and one of the questions is going to be a little long but if you would like your question answered and it doesn't have to be about fortnite it can be pretty much about any game that i play or anything going on right now we don't really talk about politics religion stuff like that you know because that is, those are very divisive comments and this is a gaming channel we talk about games so <laughs> if you would like a question answered all you have to do is leave a question and how do you leave a question you say question and then you ask your question and that's it so Ivor asks question what mobile games do you play if any currently I am playing uh I play a little Clash Royale every so often whenever I remember uh currently I'm playing Pokemon Unite uh I'm playing what else am I playing I think that's kind of pretty much the only thing I'm really playing right now I'm not oh Pokemon Go yeah Pokemon Go um so pretty much Pokemon Unite, Pokemon Go. That's pretty much the only games and a little bit of Clash Royale every once in a while. I still play Arena of Valor every once in a while. Um, but yeah, I don't really have any any mobile games that have really held on to my interest right now. I keep looking at some. Hopefully, hopefully one will come up that I really like. But yeah, if you have any suggestions of any mobile games, let me know. I would be very interested to try some new ones. It's meant as question. Is it still possible to redeem old founder codes or is the ability to upgrade the state of the counter move? yes if you have an old founder code yeah i'm gonna again another video i'm gonna be doing soon about this uh if you have an old founder cord uh code in the form of you know like in in the game you go in you have those founder edition games uh codes uh if you have one of those codes yes you can still cl uh, claim it because those are just those are just codes that are built into the game um from the last time that i've heard it's possible i have not heard of anyone doing it since um since they removed the 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 splash screen you know the selection screen at the beginning so i would be curious to know if anyone has been able to do it again that is pretty much the only way that you can currently um uh, it's pretty much the only way that you can currently get a Founders Edition, which will give you V-Bucks instead, uh, instead of extra tickets. So yeah, it'll be very interesting to find out. Actually, you know what? Let, let me let me check something real quick. So uh, I, I just paused the video for a second because I went to check something. I haven't seen anyone claim anyone, uh, claim uh, a Founders Edition for a while. Um, I don't think, I don't know. I don't say I don't know. I would think that if you still have a Founders Code or a Friend Code, as they called it, I would think that you'd be able to use it to get the base version of the game, which would also come with V-Bucks. But um, yeah, I, I honestly can't say 100% sure. I would think you can, but we have to figure that out. So last question, like, like I said, one of these questions is gonna be a little long in answering, is uh, from Save the World Gamer who said, question, you can buy 40K power level 144 traps, 56, I don't know what 56P is, 100K, sunbeam bright core or coal oh 56 pence i believe 1 million sunbeam for 342 yes those would be um those would be uh um uh european or british pounds i guess what does it say about the valor city war how is it can be to duplicate materials okay so um i'm gonna take a second to answer this question because i, I kind of want to I, I've been trying to figure out a way to make a video talking just about this, and I've never really known how to approach it. Um, and I think that this question, I'm going to answer your question kind of with an example or and a little bit of another question. So for those of you who don't know, there exists a game called RuneScape. RuneScape is a, was a huge game and it's still pretty big. Uh, I started playing RuneScape uh, pretty much well i had an account when it was still in alpha or beta um and then i started a new account i i lost my other account i 
have no idea what the I don't even remember what the username was, but uh, my main account, um, I've had it for since 2002, which is going to be 20 years this year. It's crazy. It's crazy. And that game took a lot of my time. <laughs> I played RuneScape so much for a very long time and RuneScape at a certain point kind of had the same problem that save the world has in this case here where you could easily just buy stuff buy materials and stuff like that uh with real world money now the problem with that and and the thing that i'm kind of curious about with save the world um is in in runescape it, it had hundreds of thousands of people playing it uh more maybe was that the I think that was the first game to reach a million players um, uh, all at once or online at one time or was it a hundred thousand i forget but basically with runescape it became a huge problem because you had thousands upon tens of thousands upon hundreds of thousands of people who would potentially do this they would you know pay someone or send someone money or put their credit card information into a website and they would get they would get paid you know they would get their items or or they would get scammed and there would be no items and the person who took their money would either just take their money or take their credit card information and they would go ahead and buy something else with it there also was a problem where a lot of people like a lot of kids got a hold of their parents credit card and just racked up thousands of dollars we've heard all this before with other, a lot of other games racked up thousands and thousands of dollars worth of you know buying stuff and then the parents were like what happened and they you know they 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 claimed you know fraud and they sued and and that's where the problem got basically if i remember correctly runescape had a problem where a lot of the major credit card companies and a lot of you know, companies were kind of like hey we're gonna stop we're gonna stop allowing you to because it was also a monthly fee a monthly membership but they were like we're gonna stop you know taking money from you we're gonna stop working with you if you don't solve this so um runescape did some major things they took away the free market per se basically way back then you would stand in you know in the park in falador uh and you would shout you know you're buying this you're buying that you're buying this you know it was a very interesting open market concept they came up with the grand exchange and the grand exchange basically was a place where you would put in something you were going to buy and you would buy it like sell it like that and they really cracked down on a lot of the ways that people were real world trading you couldn't like just drop certain things like that anymore um so that effectively and because of the way they did it it kind of broke the game a little bit and a lot of people pulled away from it plus a bunch of other things they did people who played it you, you know rs2 rs3 you know classic and all all that other stuff that happened um but i have to look at that example and look at save the world and realize that more than likely the reason why this all happened or the reason why this is being allowed to happen is because we really don't have that many people who are buying stuff in the real world why is this well you said it there in your the second part duplicate there are ways that people have found to duplicate materials and save the world and duplicate them in mass quantities and even though duplicating of materials is exploiting glitches and is supposed to be a bannable offense and yes we have seen in the past that there have been groups that have been banned for this it doesn't seem to be the case now which makes me realize and wonder about the current state of save the world as well where and again that is another video i'm going to be doing soon uh talking about that talking about the fact that you know it doesn't it to me it feels like epic games isn't really that invested in the development and save the world right now because they don't see it as a solid you know viable source of income and development in the future save the world just isn't that big anymore um, and that's very sad to say, but yes, if they are not consistently, consistently, sorry, patching up the duplicate glitches or cracking down on people who are doing this. And it very much is quite obvious when you go into a match and you see someone, you know, lay down 
hundreds of traps. It's kind of interesting. Uh, and I have to say from another point of view, I, I still am very not upset, but I'm very disappointed and I'm very much hoping and waiting for the balancing, the rebalancing of, of the game, because uh, that's still a huge issue too. I feel that um, Save the World, I, I really feel that Save the World needs to be balanced. Um, it's, it's, it's still not fair that you have to spend so much materials and so much time to be able to get the materials required to be able to complete a 160 mission. And if you lose it, you lose everything. You lose all your traps, you lose everything you have. So in that case, I still do think I want to jump into save the rule real quick and take a look at the friend code. Um, in that case, I, I still feel that it is very much not okay it's not uh it's not balanced save the world is definitely not balanced in that sense so would be really good if they were to rebalance that in that, in, in that sense but as i said um your question is what does it say about the value mm, that's what i think it says about the value i think that uh the way that save the world is set up the way that um save the world is currently established it doesn't really have that much value. You can buy a lot of materials. You can duplicate a lot of materials. Uh, oh, 300 V-Bucks. Nice. Uh, how many V-Bucks do I have? Uh, I have I have a good amount to give away tonight. <laughs> uh, let me check right here. So if we go here, yep, I still have it right there. If you guys can see right there, my friend code. Uh, so I still have the friend code. So if I still have the friend code, I should still use it. But anyway, I may leave it there, guys. Um, I do want to talk about this topic a little bit more in the future, about you know, the value of say the world and the current state of say the world, because I, I do think it is very important to, to look at that. And it is very, I guess it is also very disappointing for a lot of people if they are allowing this and people who are grinding and working really hard to get the materials and everything that someone, you know, can pay $3 or $5 and get a bunch of stuff. If that were the case, if that were the case, and if Save the World and Epic were okay with doing this, um, then my recommendation and what I would recommend them to do would be to just go ahead and add a shop. Uh, in our shop, we should have over here with the items, with gold, we should be allowed to buy traps and stuff. And if they wanted to make it even more like what it currently is, uh, then over in the store, you could buy with v bucks you could buy gold and then over and i've been saying this for a long time and then over in the shop you have unlimited amount of materials and everything you can buy if if they're gonna allow that and if they want that to be a, a the you know the the meta in the game then just go ahead and profit from it too i mean it's okay at this point the game is not free to play at this point the game is a pay to play game uh it, it's a premium premium experience so you know why not just keep going with it um, I personally, for me, I wouldn't mind spending a little bit of V bucks. You know, if I, if you know, they, if they sold me, I don't know, comparable, comparable to that. You know, if I could get my, if I could get myself a bunch of traps, like enough traps to do a bunch of 160 missions solo, just, just, you know, like just lay down hundreds of traps all over the place uh for you know 50 cents a dollar yeah I, I would do it why not you know or i can just farm the gold and buy it here you know I, I think that would be a lot more a lot more of a viable way of sustaining the game than just allowing this type of you know activities to run rampant and um really bringing down the experience for the few people who are still playing but anyway, I'm going to leave it there, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. As always, I am DUJ2. Don't forget, keep an eye out for my schedule, for my stream. I will start stream tonight at around uh, a little bit before midnight central. And we're going to continue streaming all the way to the game, you know, goes down, update, and comes back up again. I have a couple of games that I want to play during downtime. And keep an eye out for my schedule. New schedule coming. A lot of cool things that I want to try in the next few months. Enter for V-Buck gift card. I'll probably give another one away tonight. So if you want the guys want to come to the stream. And as always, I am DJ2. If you guys enjoy this video, if you enjoy what I do on my channel, please do me a huge, huge, huge favor. 
and have yourself a fantastic day. Thanks a lot for watching, guys, and I'll see you all next one. I just realized I was still there the whole time. <laughs> Thanks a lot, guys. See ya. Mm-hmm. <laughs>